In this example, we will be finding the square root of 27. In order to find the square root of 27, we will first review an important math rule, which is the square root of a times b is equal to the square root of a times the square root of b, which means if we have two numbers multiplied by each other inside of a square root, we can move them and separate them out and multiply them together. In order to find the square root of 27, we want to find first the factors of 27, which include 9 and 3. I chose 9 and 3 because 9 is a perfect square. This will help us when simplifying in the future. Now we can rewrite the square root of 27 as the square root of 9 times 3. Using our math rule, we can then rewrite this as the square root of 9 times the square root of 3. We can look at the square root of 9 and see because 3 times 3 equals 9, the square root of 9 will be 3. Therefore, the square root of 27 can be simplified to the square root of 3 times 3. Now, if we want to look at estimating the square root of 27 to the nearest whole number, we will look at the perfect squares nearby. We can first take a look at 5 squared, which is 25, and 6 squared, which is 36. As you can see, 27 lies between 25 and 36. So we can write the inequality square root of 25 is less than the square root of 27, which is less than the square root of 36. Because 5 squared equals 25, the square root of 25 will be 5. And because 6 squared equals 36, the square root of 36 will be 6. Now we can see the square root of 27 lies between 5 and 6. In order to find the value that the square root of 27 is closest to, we will look at the difference between 27 and the perfect squares by subtracting them. So we will do 27 minus 25 to give us 2, and then 36 minus 27 to give us 9. We can therefore see that 27 is closer to 25, which means that the square root of 27 is closer to 5. Therefore, we can estimate the square root of 27 as approximately 5.